So we just finished up this update, which was uh, going to be posted probably this coming week, which will be the week of the 23rd of April. And it was the gauge cluster, which is a funny project because it actually spanned uh, like six months, it's like six months. Of, of my life in getting the uh, <laughs> the gauge cluster gone through because it was a project that I kind of started uh, earlier and then I moved on to doing the exhaust and stuff and why I waited for gauges and whatnot to come in I uh, just moved on from project to project on the Phoenix the exciting news is we are out here with the Phoenix today and falling off of the last video we are buttoning it up i'm waiting on the transmission cameron uh, hit me up this weekend it being uh yesterday is saturday friday i think it's friday actually he hit me up and said hey mike we got your transmission all fixed up and i'm super excited about that yeah so all this down here is all got to be cleaned up and i got to put the glove box back in and the ashtray and door sills and then i have to I'm kind of jumping from topic to topic and I apologize for that. I got to put breakers in because I have no breakers on this guy. And I got to figure out there's a hose down there that came out of somewhere. It's probably probably important, I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, all these kick panels and the headliner stuff. The B pillar, is that a B pillar or C pillar? I always get confused, I think that's a B pillar. B pillar cover, got all that to do. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna um, start cleaning. We're gonna do house housekeeping, we're doing housekeeping day. We're starting cleaning up all this wiring and uh, stuff on the inside. So maybe we could at least drive this thing down and get it registered, uh, maybe this week. That'd be cool. So I'm gonna throw you on a tripod and uh, maybe we'll do a time lapse or something. Maybe we'll play some YouTube music and do a time lapse. That'd be sweet. Oh, yeah, Too. This is the, the owner's the stock owner's manual, 78 Pontiac Phoenix. So what I thought was uh, could have been a tachometer, it is apparently could have been a clock. So I didn't get the full on luxury model, although I got air conditioning and power steering. Um, <laughs> but uh, close enough. Oh man, look, you could have had a column fucking shifter, man. Moment of silence. Silencio. It sucks, man. I had this thing for like less than a year. It just like, what's, what's, what's AB say? You let the smoke out? I mean, it fell over, but I mean, it wasn't. It was like, it's like six inches off the ground, man. It's supposed to be like a construction radio? And it's just, the interface is out, so. That sucks. That sucks. This is the second second radio sound system stuff that I've lost. So I had to go to the backup, the backup backup, and it sucks.
Okay, so after much trial and tribulation, we got the, the dash kind of put back together. We got the uh, glove box tidied up and cleaned out, and I actually got the uh, light working. I was pretty proud of myself on that. And the ashtray is doing ashtray things. I found a mystery light. So this, it has like this weird, I want to say it's like a ground, or maybe it's just a cable that holds it onto it. It's kind of dangling off the ashtray, and I can't really figure out where in the world that's supposed to go to. I looked everywhere underneath the dash. So uh, now we're just down to uh, basically tucking up all this disaster underneath here. All those wires there, here, in this area. All belong to the ECU or the fuse panel for the ECU or sensors that need to go to the ECU that haven't been around like the factory oil pressure sensor and then all of this disaster over a mill is just from the all the different gauges so we're gonna tidy that shit up and uh woohoo yeah check this shit out huh Besides, besides gold box kind of hanging out down there with all the wires that kind of go to it, they were, were pretty well put together on the inside. I even got the headliner kind of tacked up over there, and the back seats cleaned up. So she is looking so wheat. I, I even washed off the, the trunk carpet, it's hanging on the truck there drying off it actually cleaned up really well I was kind of kind of surprised but yeah check this liquor out it's got ceramic I got the ceramic um tent the ceramic tent costs more than homie paid for the car <laughs> but that's okay it's not about the money it's about the love so yeah we got all this cleaned up down here and our dash is looking pretty sweet and all we got to do is build a, like a console, right? Meow. To put the gold box, we'll just stash that underneath, making like a nice little mount since Mike was kind enough to provide mounts on that thing. And uh, we'll stick it underneath there and uh, make some kind of easy access port and put the radio and make some cup holders because apparently they didn't have cups in uh, 1978 maybe I think it was a fuel crisis they couldn't afford to drink sodas maybe and uh, maybe we'll put that shifter like here at like a slope if we have to use that I really like to figure out how to use my um, column shifter and I'm wondering I've been kind of kind of doing the initial uh, problem solving stuff with how to make a gated maybe like some kind of lever you know like have like a squeezy lever let's see I let's let me do it we oh, if the keys in so my thing would be like you smash it down all the way to and then kind of just like all the gated stuff that's out there you know you you smash forward in this in a second and then you pull a thing and smash it whoop see that's what you don't want to have happen smash it into drive and then you'd have to have to let it go and pull the lever again to go to neutral. Whoa, 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 we're rolling. But that's, I don't think it, it can't be too hard. It's just, it's gonna require lots of thinking. And then, uh, yeah, so check it out. There's only like maybe 12, 12 bolts left over. So I must've did something. I uh, definitely, definitely did some chassis lightning. So it's, you know, It'd be hard to tell the difference between this and like a Lotus or maybe a Miata, just not as gay. Tuesday, I got a lot of work to do um, tomorrow, but Tuesday I'll run over to the DMV, our little tax licensing place here. And uh, we're kind of a small town just north of Houston. So it's usually pretty easy to get in and out and I'll just, uh, Go in there, grab a temp tag, and I uh, already got the insurance turned back on for the car, uh, out of storage, and 
uh, we'll take it down to the inspection state uh, thing and get it inspected and get it registered so that's pretty exciting that's about it for this update guys so I appreciate you I appreciate you guys uh, that are uh, also following my Pontiac build and I got a couple Volvos uh, in the garage here I got one that is I call gringo it's uh, a green uh, 940 and then and then I'm thinking the silver one the silver one that's kind of turned into a storage unit here it's a 240 DL really nice 86 uh, is going to be project REO Swede wagon <laughs> get it Swede wagon and uh, I got I got an LS2 for this guy and I got a I got an LSX 427 for this guy and big turbos and stuff I appreciate all the people that swing by and watch the welding stuff too but that's not really what I'm all about I mean I'm about that and uh, and I enjoy it and I actually really enjoy posting anything that helps other people out so um, you know, I, I appreciate the people that watch that. Appreciate you guys that watch the projects. Um, I'm sure there's probably a few crossover people that that enjoy both. So, um, you know, I just want to bring a little bit of diversity to the channel. Uh, I, I offer, you know, supplies and fabrication parts and, and welding stuff. And I feel like, you know, uh, I should give a little bit back for, you know, people to support me. So. I, I kind of see those welding videos as maybe just a little bit of payback or you know just a way to say thanks for all the support and uh, and then the, this is what I do I mean this is like my hobby you know this is what excites me um, so I enjoy sharing that with you guys too. Today is a day when I'm gonna clean the shop because it is a bit of a mess I gotta get all this stuff cleaned up off the floor um, since I got the the Pahonix running and out of the shop which is cool um, I paid for my tranny today you always want to pay for your trannies they get really upset when they're not paid for um, and tomorrow it will be on the way but since we know this thing can drive well, let's see Bam! Check that out, man. If you look real close, it will say whoop, 78 Pontiac. Pontiac. 78 Pontiac. So what that means is we can take the car tomorrow. So tomorrow we can take the car to the state inspection place, get it inspected, and I can get it ready, then take it over and get it registered so that'll be pretty cool I'm pretty excited about doing that but to do that um, I feel like most of the things are good on the car but I think it's wise to take and throw it up on the lift and uh, just kind of like check everything we'll check the lug nuts we'll check the brakes we'll check the all the fluids the caps uh, maybe run over the bolts that are kind of easy to access and see and uh, yeah, just look it all over so that way when I'm driving this, I think it's like a 15 minute ride and uh, that seems like a long time for a, a maiden journey. So I plan to do it in the middle of the day and uh, when there's not much traffic, that way if I break down, I'm not totally in everybody's way and I can get my uh, call my AAA and have them come, come tow me back or, um, or we'll just cruise smoothly and everything will go well. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then reality comes and kicks you in the fucking junk. So the um, the braided, the high pressure hose is um, spewing out. Uh, steering fluid, power steering fluid, like everywhere. All right, so even though I cut the shit out of my thumb after smashing my finger and getting to the point where my faking my 
motivation was really really pushing it um, we still muscled through and we threw uh, a couple relays or breakers I'm sorry breakers on this car so everything's got a breaker on it I got a big uh, 80 amp going to the to the back of the car where the fuel stuff's at and I put one on the fan and I put one on the fuel pump I know I already got a fuse block back there but that's more for power distribution because 100 amp is too much um, then we pulled the then we pulled the pulled that guy out the power steering the pressure line and it seemed like I just didn't have the hose seated enough so I cut the end off and it and uh, cleaned it up real good put it back in and locked it down so hopefully that is that was the problem with the power steering not wanting to be the the guy driving the car videotaping like an idiot but here I am anyway uh, but trying to pay attention and uh, we got the car it's uh, we're rolling down the street we got the uh, auto tune working it's probably not the best idea but hey it's uh, doing whatever it does and I'm uh, manually downshifting and it doesn't it doesn't seem to be bad man my fuel pump is not happy whenever I hit the brakes a little bit too hard it makes that sound but I'm sure that's not good It's slow, it's not fast, but it makes funny noises, and that's kind of cool. And it actually spun a tire for the first time in a year and a half, so, uh, yeah, cool, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It seems to be doing a little better. It's, uh, I just set the auto-tune for easy, and just kind of, the fuel pump sounds much quieter after I put 15 gallons of gas in the car, imagine that. So, uh, boost and uh, it's just silly but hey at least it's moving got gas under its own power that's a good deal and uh, yeah we'll just kind of roll from here I think I might go to the uh, take the bike to the drive-in movies tonight Fancy old uh, 70 Pontiac Phoenix. Good, baby? Yeah. Lock the door. Okay, so here's what's going on is so my friend Pete, who I did the blow off valve in the aluminum welding video not too long ago, call him uh, Viper Pete. Pete, these goddamn dogs. So he uh, came by, had some welding for me, and uh, just gave me a gift and that was really cool so uh i, I gave him a price and uh he kind of overpaid and at first was kind of weird about it and uh and then it was like you know it's it's nice to let it's probably a good idea to let people help you every once in a while and uh so i it just accepted uh the gift and that was really cool and uh so you got a little extra money so the plan is if you got a 78 pontiac phoenix and it's running and driving like this one is so I took it today to get gas uh, and you got a big bench seat well you go to the uh, drive-in movies and you make out with your old lady right so that's the plan that's where we're headed we're gonna go check out the Avengers so uh, let's go downshifting these gears are so tall like I'm downshifted in a second and we're at like uh, 1500 rpm Watch the road. <laughs> so yeah, it's running a bit rich. The last map, I just uh, I let the auto tune work it, and then I kind of grabbed the two goods and kind of interpolated. 
tires first. two goods and interpolated across the board and just left it there so uh and i, I like cruise speed we're a bit on the rich side but uh yeah the car feels really good it's i love it's got that old style uh 70s cadillac kind of glide to it where it just kind of wafts down the road it's more like uh <laughs> kind of like uh you know old caddy kind of feel so pretty happy and uh yeah we're gonna go watch the uh, avengers at the drive-in movie theater and I hope it doesn't suck so we'll find out what you doing princess paws princess paws so check this out man nothing really all that exciting but I've been driving this thing everywhere and it's been doing real good the tranny sounds just hor horrific just it's but it's like it's fun. I still gotta, you know, crank the boost up. It's only a few pounds at most, but uh, I think I'll wait to do that till I get the transmission and the rear axle sorted out. But it is fun as hell. Uh, I gotta get the air conditioner working because it's already 90 degrees today. But uh, check this, check this out, man. Woohoo! So today we went by the uh, Magnolia, Texas. Um, tax office DMV whatever you want to call it and we got I got three plates on this thing now so I got the old one I got a temporary tag and then the tag that's in there is gonna be my uh, my veterans plate so I got a nice little veterans plate to put on this thing which I understand might seem a little gay but you have to realize we're here in Houston and there's tolls everywhere and luckily with the veterans plates you get a, a break on the tolls so that's much appreciated. Thank you, Texas. I appreciate you appreciating the service members, and uh, it's a big help. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, she's driving good. I got uh, the oil to do the first oil change, and I've hunted down a place that does like classic car AC type stuff down in Houston, uh, right next to the place where I get my nuts, <laughs> and. Uh, I'm going to kind of wait, I think, till the temperature drops, maybe a cooler day, and then just drive the thing down there and have them take a look at it, see what they'll charge me. Just kind of, it'd be nice to have them just kind of go through the whole AC system and, uh, and just fix, you know, do like a refresh. I really wouldn't care if it cost whatever. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Maybe I should hold on on posting this video until after I get that done. But uh, yeah, it's when it's 100 degrees outside, I got to have something working uh as far as the ac goes but uh yep so transmission rear ends and a drive uh drive uh drive line uh what do you call it drive shaft and then i think we'll bump up the uh wheels because these ones are of course they're blowing off it just like you know i want to say low boost but it's pretty much no boost <laughs> so we'll uh We'll address all the little details, I think, and now that it's uh, on the road and running, which is pretty cool, uh, just go through and, you know, start addressing everything, replacing all the, the bushings and the suspension and the shock absorbers and uh, the weather sills and then maybe replace the carpet and just kind of refreshing it up, make it nice, uh, make it a pleasant living space for uh, long road trips. Um, I kind of like it's this got such a low gear in it. I want to say it's like a 270. It does literally 70 miles an hour in first gear, and I haven't even like hit the rev limiter yet. I've been just like terrified because it's <laughs> the sounds the transmission's making. Uh, it, I can't tell if it's the the tire squealing or if it's the transmission squealing, or it just it, it gets pretty sketchy up there and around uh, anything over 5,000 <laughs> RPM, which I know is nothing, but. Uh, Anyway, it's a lot of fun, and I enjoyed taking the wife to the movies the other day. You'll see that earlier in this clip. And, uh, yeah, and excited, just excited about this project. I know probably there's like two people in the entire world that actually care about this project, but uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I think it's going to be one of those deals that pays off rewards. I got I to gotta play with this pit bull. Blue, come here. Come here, Blue. Is it stick time? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? All right, so gotta go play stick. 
and do my responsibilities as a as a responsible pit bull owner and wear that dog out and for everybody else, I appreciate you dropping by, checking out the video. This is Mike from Monkey Fab. Be sure to check out my uh, website, monkeyfabgarage.com. And um, this is Mike out. Mission accomplished. Huh. Huh, chunky girl. <laughs>